All right, this is a review. Triggered, How the Left Thrives on Hate and Wants to Silence Us by John L. Trump Jr. It's a raw book about his opinions and perspectives. Triggered yet? That is how personally I troll people. And it works. It happens when words or behavior hurt someone's reality. Like I have to live up to their echo chamber bubble. There's outrage culture on Twitter and gaslighting. Feelings hurt and not PC. Minor microaggressions. And that used to be called teasing when I was younger. And you don't want to be marked with the mark of the beast or a scarlet letter. And these type of outrages can lead to shadow banning on platforms and being canceled. Who wants to be silenced? There are patterns in this corruption. And most of all, I'm not going to mention the Voltaire quote, but who is trying to silence you? There's a relationship of censorship versus freedom of speech. PC culture, SJWs, combing all your comments of what you said your whole life. This public shaming is somewhat scary. There's lazy asses with their slacktivism. And it's a fun game, and I'm not talking about hide and go seek. Trump Jr. has most of it down. There's humor in this book. It is funny. And he's always being hated on, him and his dad, so it is somewhat true. There's discourse and hate speech. Trigger warnings to warn you of your feelings being hurt. Of course, he's going to mention the mobs and socialists. He has somewhat of a communist background with his mom being from Czechoslovakia or something like that. And he grew up and he could speak Czech. So that is why some of the liberals think that he's colluding with the Russians. I didn't know that. There's wokeness. And it's almost this era is book burning, which is somewhat good. Because you can read this on Kindle or in ebooks and not waste paper. And this reminds me of the alt right and its epic trolling. Now, how does this book relate to me and where I have been? The truth triggers. So you must use metaphors or try it. I'm mostly aware of everything he talks about, um, but for the typical person, they might need this book can help them a bit. It's still very interesting. Now, I was at the UC Berkeley riots where Milo Yiannopoulos was attending. I came right when they started that fire, since I live right in the barrier. And then the other riot that happened about, I don't know, two or three months later with the bike you lock professor. I was at that rumble, filming it. Both were wild, and, and I had a lot to learn from that. I do believe in having less laws, which many right-wingers are unable to pick up. Less police, more men, no matter how much people dislike them. And a funny thing is the next books on my list to review this week are one of them is A Coddling of American Mind and two Nassim Taleb books. I do think Donald Trump Jr. is setting himself up to be a good potential candidate for a populist party sometime in the future, whether it be 20 or 30 years from now. If necessary, he might be good. More on that later. And it's easy fact, neither Trump is an Abraham Lincoln. We haven't had someone like that in a long time. In reading this book, it was great to acquire data on what these corrupt liberals are doing. Some of them I knew, but also seen his angle and his details, his somewhat radical opinions on this. With the smearing, the creative editing for sound bites that these big corrupt news channels do, it is very corrupt. And I do like how he reveals all the secrets and struggles of the campaign, the populace, the lack of money, his own money, and not just obsessing over polling data, that the Democrats went through because they went out to the country in person, the underdog, and it was a great run, the Trump train to make America great again, MAGA. And you can recognize establishments, the Democrats, corruption and radicals, as well as the Republican party. This book does have a ton of insulting trigger words in it. I do notice out here in San Francisco Bay Area, people can be weak. Sometimes when I talk, they get triggered. They can't handle the truth. So, oh well, I just go about my business. And that's not everybody. When you're from California, you're going to be used to be trying to be taken down. And the best quote in the book and advice you learn from his dad is, always remember, you don't get anything you don't ask for. Just ask. And make sure you check that link below. So next, I'm going to give my thoughts on Donald Trump Jr. Some of them I knew, he hunts and fishes. Took a gap year after college, which I found very interesting. He loves, I love hearing he traveled all over the states, which I have done, not to every state, but... I drove across the country. It's a fun book. He recognizes Twitter, Facebook, not so much YouTube versus the mainstream outlets. He's trolling other officials, AOC and such. I do not follow Donald Trump Jr. on Twitter, but I do follow AOC and Insta. And it is comical, the gender pronoun jokes. What is going on? It's just so confusing. I just, 
don't care. It's it's funny that we've gone to that era, and now that the economy is crashing in this 2020 time, no one really cares about that. People just want to pay their bills and survive and get their food and toilet paper. Sometimes at the end of the day, he can be full of shit. He recognizes education can be a waste, especially with the college and its debt. I don't think Donald Trump Jr. reads a lot, but I do think he reads more than his dad. And be careful of the image you see. I could see him being a wannabe outstorman. That's what he posts all these pictures at the end of him being a good family man and an outdoorsman. And at least he likes it. And at least he's willing to go outside. I do think this path of privilege that was given to him, it's not his fault. He will have a very hard time understanding the have-nots. He'll mention the rules of radicals, but I don't think that hard is there. He's been approved of. He's a good-looking guy. He's not bad-looking. He didn't struggle with women. Of course, he had status and money, but out of the game, maybe he has a little. So he can't relate with the have-nots, ugly dudes, or people with no game. He can understand the status and fake friends. Who's on your side? This is where we learn who's on his side. Him and his dads. You do get a good portrait of his relationship and his opinion of his dad. Even liberals should read this. Now, here are my thoughts on Donald Trump. He's got a solid gold look. Angry Cheeto, Orange Man Bad, all these other memes, populist movements, the snap back attack. He does recognize fake news. He helps me out because of books. Twitter and YouTube are okay. You already know my thoughts on wasting time on Twitter. He doesn't drink alcohol and definitely doesn't take Molly. He helps too by recognizing the failing New York Times. Really helps his channel. He can maintain presence and attention. Speaks to people. Almost makes you want to go out there too. He truly exposed the corruption. That you have to keep on repeating it to other liberals. That hey, this is really corrupt. If they don't recognize certain's corrupt, something's wrong with them. He recognizes work. He's a deal maker. The art of the deal. I have not read that book. I do have it. He can make deals. That's one of the great things about him. He's a businessman. He's tapping hearts of people. Freedom of speech is very important. You ain't going to hear him shut up. He's outspoken, ridicules, almost like the Theodore Roosevelt bully pulpit. And you can check my other reviews about him. He's a businessman. Economy is good. He's still for the elites, even when the economy crashes. And we do have to stop this boom and bust cycle. It is okay, but you can't have it go crazy like it's happened before. He's impulsive, lies on the whim, maintains the image of that solid gold image. He's got that New York City East Coast gold chains look, even without even wearing them. He's all about his base. The strategies are great. And Robert Greene's law, he will court attention at all costs. And that is power. He will also play to people's fantasies. He's not a man of empathy. That's my biggest critique of him. Maybe Trump needs Molly. Yeah, Trump needs Molly. Triggered yet? Trump bots. There are narcissistic elements. He's not well-spoken. He's got that Trump train, which can be exciting. The MAGA. Both Trumps talk down to people. That's not game. However, in general, these past few years, it is best to have a wrecking ball present to shake things up. It's a mess. It's a tough job being president to have, say, an Abraham Lincoln up there. It takes work and sacrifice. And both can be on the top of the mountain as aggressive know-it-alls. It was not really hard to spot fake news when you get experience, you travel independently, and you read. You're on the right channel. And my last thoughts are, I love trolling the Trump bots. There's no mind of their own. NPC, scared to lose to the left, scared to hear an opinion sometimes, or the truth. They just want to call people lazy. I prefer individualism. And check your retirement account. It's negative since election. And as far as the elephants versus Donald Trump Jr., here's the picture right here. Not for trophy status. I could swallow this pill. It's privilege. I am pro hunting and outdoorsman. Hopefully the money paid for that tail was used for the elephant's journey towards survival versus someone who does nothing because it does bring awareness. There's nothing better than being talked about. And he says he's a conversationalist, a hunter and a fisherman. I do think he's more conservative and trophy oriented, not wild. And another big tip is to understand real estate. The price isn't just the price, it's propped up. And in terms of construction and what Donald Trump Jr. has learned from his dad is you need a good foundation. Then you can build up from there. He does tease about the Millennium Towers in San Francisco, which are crooked and sinking. I feel bad for those people, but they bought it. I don't think he understands ammo spirits. There's overbought real estate and there's too many investors that will bail. 
Thanks for listening to this whole video. I'll post links down below. And you must not be triggered yet. Hashtag Trump needs Molly.